<laughs> Wendell Yeo, the cleanest man in Boston. Are these sold door to door? Join us. <laughs> Join us. Class in the eighth grade. They want to choose a boy and a girl from this class to be in their assembly. Who wants to be sacrificed? All right, put your hands down. They'll have to choose. The eighth graders called the herd. Whomever John and Arlene choose, you can be sure of one thing. It won't be anyone who isn't clean and neat. They'll sniff That's everyone. Being clean and neat is something everyone is expected to do. And for a very good reason. Use the shrooms, Billy. It's important to your health and to the health of those around you. Don may feel that he looks neat enough. Well, and Don's clean wrong. Enough. But let's go back to the start of the day and see what we can do. There you are, Don. Back in bed this morning. Now a giant cockroach. First of all, form the habit of getting up in plenty of time. To sober up. Keeping clean and neat is a matter of forming oh. good habits and letting them work for you. Oh, man, what the hell did I do last night? Now, don't stall. If you lie in bed so long that you have to rush, how can you expect to be neat and clean? Lay off. You're suffocating me. The most important read, thing, read, of course, read, read, is read, read, in read, summer, in summer. Psycho. Or in winter, yeah. when you're hot and sweaty, every other day will do. Ooh. Make it a shower or a tub, whichever you like, morning or night. It doesn't matter... Just so you keep yourself clean. Use a Brillo pad and Comet. Remember your ears. They need a soapy washcloth. Kerosene and a match gets rid of the ear mites. When you wash your feet, be sure to get between your toes and the bottom of your feet. Well, you'll never be able to scrub away the stain on your sole. And keep a fingernail brush handy for your nails. You're not clean if your fingernails aren't. You are now officially obsessive compulsive. <laughs> then rinse all the soap off. Rinse, damn it, rinse, Learn rinse! Learn good habits work for you by following the same order every time. So clean yourself in alphabetical order. <laughs> Use pumice on your tender nipple buds. And here's another habit. Wash your hair on the same day each week. Ah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, whichever day you choose. Keep a detailed log, though. <laughs> Use a good shampoo or soap. And rub in the lather with your fingers, not your fingernail. Here, let me help you. Lather up twice with a rinse in between. Why couldn't they have had Mamie Van Doren star in this thing? And after the second lather, when your hair is perfectly clean, rinse again. Keep rinsing till every bit of soap is out. <laughs> you almost done in there? What are you doing? <laughs> there. Feels good, doesn't well, don't, it? Don't, don't touch that. Give yourself a good rub down with the towel until you're completely dry. Please remain seated until the shower has come to a full and complete stop. Now, before stop. you brush your hair, be sure your comb and brush are clean. She's becoming Howard Hughes. Them the day you wash your hair. I have an extensive filter system installed. Comb your Darren Stevens haircut. Your teeth? Comb them, you too. You them well last night. <laughs> They're clean now. Brush them again after breakfast. So they'll be clean again until lunch. <laughs> Mad dog. <laughs> One more good habit. Before you leave the bathroom, flush. See that it's neat and clean too. <laughs> Towel and washcloth hung up to dry. <laughs> Cap back on the shampoo. Dun, dun, dun. Bathtub clean. Basin clean. Pick up all the hairs with a tweezer. Yes. Everything is put away. Now have the bathroom sealed. Now your clothes. Your underwear should be just as clean oh, as you are. Hey, don't say underwear. Clean socks. But look at those shoes. Oh, oh, they Dad's vomit. What you need is the shoe shine kit. There, now wear this instead. There you are. You can make one like this yourself, you know. But that's a whole other film. That's better, what isn't it? What the hell is that? Be sure the top is back on the polish. Does this kid have a job now interview? Dressing. Uh oh. That's no way to treat your clothes. But that's how they treat me. If they're clean enough to wear again, hang them up. Or just have your mom do it. Fold the trousers neatly over a hanger. There, that's it. <laughs> Work it now. There you go. <laughs> it's about three in the afternoon by now. <laughs> Put the shirts on hangers, too. Hang them up in your closet. Look at that closet. Ugh. Before you do another thing, Get busy and straighten it out. Oh, man. Ah, shift into another time dimension if it helps. <laughs> Uh-oh, now your hands are filthy again. Hard work, isn't it? But if you learn the habit of keeping it neat, you'll never have to go through anything like this. Now, time for bed. <laughs> now then, a clean shirt 
and you're ready to take a look at yourself. You despise what you see. Hair comb. Hey. Face, ears, and neck. All clean. And hot wax. Cuff button. Clean hands. It's the stigmata. Nails clean and Oh, the things those hands will do. Shirt button and tucked in. Belt through all the loops. Trousers buttoned or zipped. Or not. Socks pulled up. Shoes shined. Mm -hmm. And shoelaces tied. Now to get pantsed and dragged around mm. the track. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Ugh, he's got fangs. Yeah. Quite a bit better than the way you looked in class this morning. Oh, well, sir. Now, how about you, Mildred? Let's see what habits will help you keep neat and clean. You need a week Mother Teresa. Too, of course. Girls have to wash their hair in the afternoon or evening, so there's time to put it up. Uh -huh. Don't go to bed with wet hair. Or a first date. Putting up your hair is something you have to learn. And everyone does it differently. It depends on how you wear it. Take the ribbon for my hair. You may still need to get help from your mother on this. She's getting ready for a date with Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> this is a good time to trim your fingernails. Make a habit of doing it the day you wash your hair. Every leap year. Boys like to use fingernail clippers, but girls can shape them better with an emery board. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to file open sores with an emery board? Oh. And see that little sore place where you pulled away the skin? Oh, I'm good. Next time, ask your mother to cut it, and you won't have a sore place like that. Or just amputate that finger. <laughs> Wait a minute, only nine? Don't forget your toenails. After a bath is a good time to cut them, mm -hmm. because they're softer then. Yeah, he knows a lot about women's cut toenails. Cut them straight across, and not rounded like fingernails. Better yet, cut them pointy. Get a pinking shear. <laughs> oh, Mildred. Jeez. Look at your clothes. Why, that's as bad as Don was. Don was? The producer? Things that are dirty should go into the laundry. Things that are clean enough to wear again should be folded and put away. Really? Make sure there are no wrinkles in it when you fold it. Hmm? What about the fold? And that dresser drawer. I've rummaged through you it. better straighten it out this very minute. Why can't a woman be more like a man? In the 50s, people responded well to authoritative, disembodied voices. Ha oh. <laughs> The fun never stops when you're clean and tidy. <laughs> 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 If you learn the habit of keeping it neat, you'll never have to go through anything like this. Should I be a nurse or a housewife? And now that your room hmm. is neat and you're clean, isn't it nice to climb into bed? Unfortunately, it's time for school. <laughs> Good night, Neely O'Hara. In the morning, give yourself plenty of time. Say six you hours. Can't rush and be neat. Be sure your under things are clean. Oh, don't say under things. Well, are they? Your shoes should go on over clean socks. And take a look at your shoes. Yeah. Are they as neat as they should be? You know, the narrator should get back over to Johnny's. He's probably a mess by now. Before you put on your dress, Caress. it's a good idea to brush your hair. Be sure you've washed your brush. Mm -hmm. Don't put a dirty brush on clean hair. Ugh. Brush and brush and brush. <laughs> At least a hundred strokes. <laughs> Just keep brushing and brushing and saying the name of our Lord and Savior. There. Look how it shines. You did get all the soap out last night, didn't you? Tail and mane really works. And now? The weather. What dress to wear? Hmm. Your dress has to be suited to the occasion. No, that one's just fine. Oh, that. It's bold. <clears throat> what is my purpose in this world? No, that's a lovely party dress, but it's too dressy for school. Don't go tramping yourself up like that. There, that's more like it. Oh, I love that on you. But would another color look better? Hmm. As you watch colors, you'll learn what combinations look best on you. Learn to mistrust your own taste. Hmm? And now, how do you look? Kind of parochial. You can see what a big difference a little extra care can make in your appearance. Who am I trying to kid? I've hit the glass ceiling of fifth grade. Good appearance helps you get along with others. Remember, people like you better but if you're pretty. Important. Conform. Being clean and neat is something and for our community. And to fight communism. It's simply a matter of learning good habits and letting them work for you. Don't you think you can do it? Let's get clean together. Can I carry yourself home from school? And now back to the drudgery that is your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you.